Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP 15-DA0019 model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace the internal battery. If yours is not charging up fully and or it's discharging really quick, you might want to replace your battery. It's really easy, it takes literally less than 5 minutes to do it or 10 minutes for you guys. And I'll leave the link for a new battery in the video description and the tools that I'll be using. Remember replacing your battery, you're not going to lose any files or data or any other thing. You, need, you don't need to do anything. Alright, first thing first, you want to power up the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. And in, on the bottom here, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws, four of them. But there's a more hidden screws. The tool that you're going to be needing is an iFixit or any screwdriver set that you want. I prefer the iFixit screwdriver set as they have the best bits out there. These are S2 class bit metal and they will last you many years. So we're going to use a Phillips number one. And if you get the pro set, you get a opening tools and tweezers. But if you not, grab the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. So we need to expose the rest of the screws which are under the bottom rubber cover and on the back rubber cover. You want to put the opening tool right on the bottom really there and you want to lift it up in 10, 15 degree or 45. Don't yank it all the way to the other side otherwise you're going to crack the rubber. Bring it up towards the ceiling like this and it will just pull up. Stick it right beside it. Do the same thing on the back. Stick it right in there and bring it up and put it to one side. Now you're gonna see the whole bunch of screws. The only screw that is a little bit short is the one in the front, so you wanna remove this short one first and put it in one pile. And now the rest of the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Starting from one corner, go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you think my videos helping you guys to do your own upgrade or servicing, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. Alright, once you remove all the screws, now what you want to do, you want to grab your opening tool, in this case the guitar pick. And you want to open up the laptop a little bit. And you want to stick the guitar pick between the bottom and the top cover. Palm rest and the bottom cover. And you just want to flip it backward like this. Just keep flipping it backward and you hear a few clicks. Those cracks that you hear, that's what you want to hear. You want to go all the way back to the corner. It's not breaking, it's just getting loose the clips. You want to do the same thing on the other side. You want to hear those clicking sounds, that's fine. Then you want to close it down, grab the front end of the corners and just wiggle it around and lift it up and it will release itself. And there we have it. And the battery will be right in front of you right away here. And to remove the battery, there's only three screws holding it, one right there, there and there. There's no more screws in here. So go ahead and remove these batteries. There is no BIOS battery or anything like that and because the BIOS is taking voltage from here. So once we remove this battery, the BIOS will reset to the default settings. To remove it, just put your finger right here and lift it up a little bit. Don't bring too much, otherwise you're going to crack the back. As long as it disconnects and then you want to pull it forward. And now you're going to slip. But there's a little kind of drawer here that these things go under right there so the model for this one is an HT03XL I'll leave the link for the new ones but this one is pretty fine if yours is really blown up and or it's not holding you want to change it to put the battery in here you want to put the bottom side slide it right under the plastic right there and bring it over and press gently right on the contact make sure it goes in place and put the three screws on the front end of the battery and I'm going to turn on, and once you turn on, you're going to get a little text saying that the BIOS reset to default value. Press enter to restart. So you press enter, I will restart. It will take about 5 seconds extra. And it's going to boot up normally to the Windows. So there we have it. 
grab the bottom cover you want to put the IO side this side down first and push it down make sure you hit those tiny clicks push the back end push the corners the front end and then if you open it up and you see a little gaps opening you can just pinch them together and it will close into place all right put the bottom short screw right in the front and the rest of the screws goes all over the place doesn't matter again if you guys have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can and if you want to support the channel you know what to do click that like and subscribe i really appreciate it and as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video